makes me look <gasps> no but why am i gasping on camera like this look at that Hello Kellys, it's Mary and welcome back to The Kelly Closet. If this is your first time visiting my channel, then welcome. If you're returning to my channel, then welcome back. Today's video is going to be another product battle. Now, judging by the views and likes and comments on my last product battle video, I figured that you guys really enjoyed it, so I decided to do it all over again. So, for today's video, we have two products, one by As I Am and one by Myel or Miel Organics. I tend to say Miel, have I got that right? I hope so. So we have the As I Am Curling Jelly, which I have done a video on previously on my channel. I will link it up here. Now the Miel Organics, I have never tried this product before. I watched a couple of reviews about it. Some people didn't like it that much. Some people had great results. They both have quite similar ingredients they also have a similar consistency um and they both essentially claim to do the same thing i mean they're both meant to be help with curling or curl sculpting so if you'd like to find out which of these won the product battle side note one of them did win this was not a tie there was a definite win then stay tuned for the rest of the video by the way, if you like product reviews, if you like videos like this one, then be sure to hit the red subscribe button below. Also hit the bell for notifications. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Let's get on with the comparison. Surprise, it's me. <laughs> so my hair was clean, deep conditioned and had a little bit of leave-in in and was basically dry at this point. So I had to re-wet it before adding the products. Um, I'm misting my hair with water and I'm also using the Malaru leave-in conditioner from Palmer's. I'm going to leave my link to my review in the top right of this video. But safe to say I love this stuff under heavy products. It's very nourishing even though it's liquidy and light. And then of course I'm detangling. So now I am just going to show you some close-ups of the two products. So we have the As I Am Curling Jelly. As you can see it has a very interesting gloopy jelly texture which is the same as almost the same as the Miel pomegranate and honey curl sculpting custard both of these products contain water glycerin pectin and hydroethyl hydroxyethyl cellulose okay so it's been a while since i've used that as i am curling jelly but i do recall the last time i used this was actually a good experience i generally have a very good experience with most if not all as I am products. This is the texture of the curling jelly. So I'm gonna start with about this much. It smells like as I am, as always. I'm going to work it in and start my usual coiling. Feels very smooth on the hair. Oh, I can feel it already, look. I haven't even started raking, but look. Can you see the definition already? This is promising. <laughs> I've done a little bit of raking with my fingers, not too much, but this is us so far. Oh, this is looking good already. I have a feeling this is gonna be quite successful. Okay, so. Slip on this is lovely. My hands are not like catching on the ends of my hair, but also because I gave myself a trim. Looks like it's going to be quite shiny too. So have you noticed that you have, is there a difference in how your coils look if you cut, coil them to the right or to the left? Because I do feel sometimes like when I coil my hair to the left, it's not as well with my left hand it's not as nice as when I do it with my right hand is it just me <laughs> let me know in the comments below please <laughs> anyway this is where we are okay okay so this is the coiling jelly so far lovely slip very easy 
to go onto the hair. Looks very shiny already. Like, look at this. Look at this coil right here. It's very shiny. Let's see if it keeps the shine when it's dry. Okay, so this is this side so far. Now, doing my hair like this reminds me of why I really do prefer jellies to do my coils, finger coils, wash and go type styles because my hair just responds way better to them when I really do want super definition and shine jellies, custards this is the way to go okay so the first side is done that was so much fun you know like when you haven't used a certain type of product for a long while and then you go back to it you're like oh yes this is what this is like it's um it is a little bit sticky but not terribly sticky i've had worse stickiness than this but so far my experience of using the as i am curling jelly on this side is that it goes into my hair very smoothly nice pleasant smell you know as i am smell <laughs> i like it so far the definition is definitely on 10 but it's not as heavy as like a gel you know gel has that thick heavier feeling it, my hair doesn't feel weighed down it just feels like it's got some moisture going on so now we're moving on to the Miel organics um, pomegranate and honey curl sculpting custard i've seen some reviews and some people say it flaked i'm a bit nervous because i'm going to use a leave-in that is not the leave-in conditioner from this range it is a little bit more gloopy though feels a bit more gloopy slightly thicker smells like sweeties like candy <laughs> it has a nice smell I'm not sure if it's too sweet but we're gonna see how that goes okay so for this first section I have taken this much product sorry excuse the hair in my hand <laughs> whoa I'm um, going to put it in this section feels a bit big Ooh, hang on hang on hang on a second oh wait wait <gasps> no okay look 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 no raking right i just literally smoothed some through my hair and i thought that i would need to add some more maybe a little but look this looks like it spread through really nicely look <gasps> no but why am i gasping on camera like this look at that wait a second Miel, what did you do? Wait, 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 hold on, wait. Wait. Yo, that definition shocked me. Let's see what we've got going on here. Oops. Now to make it a fair test, I am going to twist some of these with my left hand because <laughs> I just feel like if I use both hands on that side, I should try to use both hands on this side too. I did not expect to get shocked this way. I really didn't. But I feel like I've actually been... <sighs> I'm, I'm taken aback. I'm actually taken aback. And now that's actually in my hair. I'm liking the smell a little bit more. I just feel like maybe after using this, I wouldn't necessarily have to like put on like a sweet, a sweet, it just smells like a sweet perfume is what I'm trying to say. I wouldn't need to put perfume on if I use this. In, and you know what, now that it's in my hair, it's not overpowering actually. It is quite nice. Okay. Yo. <laughs> I know which one I'm leaning towards right now. But I'm not going to give a verdict until they're both dry. The only difference in application that I can personally find is 
The Miel Honey and Pomegranate has a thicker, slightly thicker texture. Now, they both glide on very easily. But if we're gonna talk about slip, I think Miel is winning right now. Just on immediate contact with the hair, the definition was immediate. Like... Okay, Kylie's. so here we are. Um, the hair is mostly dry. This side of my hair is the shaved bit. So I actually have less hair on this side than this side. But again, it's looking a bit more volumized on this side. And I'm noticing as well, this side is meant to be the bit that's a bit shorter. But can you see the shrinkage is more prominent on this side than this side? So yeah, the shrinkage on this side is definitely a lot, a lot more pronounced on this side than this side. So... Miel has got more shrinkage, as I am, less shrinkage. This is the as I am side. This is the Miel side. You tell me what you think and what you see. Hope this isn't too low. I personally am loving the definition from both sides. Overall it's very very soft but this is marginally a bit softer than this side. So as I am curling jelly I did try quite some time ago. This performed very very well. Amazingly well actually. I kind of when I started putting it in my hair I was like oh my gosh like how did I forget about this product I still had it here. So yes great stuff works just as great I'd say now as it did when I first tried it great however you know when a product leaves you speechless that right there I was a bit I was a little bit nervous about using this one because I've heard about flaking and flaking I guess it depends on what you use as a leave-in I purposely went for a watery leave-in because, you know, I just wanted to avoid any kind of flaking and there wasn't. I have to say, meow. Pomegranate and honey, curl sculpt and custard, you are the winner. Now, to be fair, there's not much difference between these two. If your hair is like mine and you want to get curl definition like this, either of these will do the job excellently. However... I would say the Miel, literally on first contact with my hair, my hair started to become defined. So if it's definition you're looking for, this is the one, definitely. I'm going to have to try out some more Miel um, products because I have never tried this stuff before. This is my very first time trying this product. It basically blew me away. <laughs> um, initially I didn't even like the smell, it was a bit too like candy sweet for me, but actually it's not bad, it's okay, like it doesn't linger around too much. And of course the softness is a good thing too because sometimes I don't necessarily want the crunch. However, um, usually what I find is that products like this that have a slight bit more crunch to them also hold up better in the summer months. So we're going to have to see kind of how these both perform when it gets hot and humid. Now that's not to say that the Miel does not have hold, it does. I just feel like this has a tiny bit more crunch to it in some areas. But again, the difference is not that big, not that big at all. So stay tuned, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, turn the notifications on because it's on. I am going to be trying out this against Camille Rose Curl Maker, which is my holy grail curl, curl defining product. We're gonna battle it out and see which of these two are the best because this product right here blew me away. So Kelly, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then definitely share it with a friend, give it a thumbs up, comment below and let me know which side of these two did you prefer? Did you prefer more definition and more shrinkage? Or did you prefer 
tiny teeny bit less definition but more stretch on this side let me know in the comments below until next time curlies wishing you health happiness and beautiful hair i'll see you again soon on the curly closet take care bye